9th November dedication of the St. John Lateran Basilica. The feast of the dedication of the Basilica of St. John Lateran is celebrated by the entire church. It marks the dedication of the Cathedral Church of Rome by Pope Sylvester I in 324. This church is the Cathedra or Chair of the Bishop of Rome, who is the Pope. A Latin inscription in the church reads, Omnium Ecclesi Ecclesiarum Urbis et Orbis, Mater et Caput. Translated, this means, the mother and head of all churches of the city and of the world. Christians first met in homes to hear Jesus' teachings and to celebrate the Eucharist. When the Christians were no longer persecuted for their faith, they built beautiful churches. Sometime, before the 4th century, a palace owned by a noble Roman family named Laterani had been built. It became the property of the Emperor Constantine. Constantine had recognized Christianity as the religion of the empire and he donated to the church, the palace and other buildings on the site. This became Rome's oldest church. It was given the title Basilica of the Saviour, but later was dedicated to John the Baptist and called Saint John Lateran. Saint John Lateran was the home of the popes, the centre of the Catholic world for many years. Twenty-eight Popes are buried there. Although our Pope now lives at the Vatican and presides at St. Peter's Basilica, St. John Lateran is considered his cathedral as the Bishop of Rome. Between the 4th and 16th centuries, five ecumenical councils and 20 synods were held in this basilica. The original structure and its successors have suffered the ravages of war, earthquake and fire. This is one of Rome's most magnificent churches. St. John's has a towering facade crowned with 15 colossal statues that include one each of Christ, John the Baptist, John the Evangelist and 12 doctors of the church. Among the outstanding relics which are preserved in this great shrine of Christendom are said to be the heads of Saints Peter and Paul encased in silver busts. Beneath the high altar rest remnants of the little wooden table on which Saint Peter used to celebrate Mass in the house of Pudens and the sacred table of the Last Supper of our Lord. The dedication of this basilica is a happy occasion for the church because it reminds us of our beginnings, our unity. It stands as a monument to God and all that God does through the church.